and welcome to this FPL Game Week 20 transfer plans video with me, Holly Shand. With the double game week fixtures now confirmed, I'm going to be looking at my transfer plans for the week ahead. I also want to hear about the transfers you're weighing up, so do get them in the comments. Let's get into it. Now the first thing I want to say is there's a lot of football to be played before the double game week 20 deadline which comes on Friday evening UK time so try not to make transfers before Friday if you don't need to. We've got seven sides in the EFL Cup quarterfinals, then we've got the conclusion of double game week 19 with Fulham playing Chelsea so a lot can happen in there, player injuries red cards and so forth. The transfer window is open as well, so patience is really going to pay off. I'm arriving at game week 20 with three double game week players in my squad, my triple city of Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne and Kyle Walker. I feel that Kevin De Bruyne has been unlucky in recent games, so I'm happy to give him another roll of the dice. Kyle Walker, what is going on there? I'm not sure yet. I feel like he could come good as an FPL asset, so I'm inclined to keep him. I'm not sure whether to start him though, with minutes not guaranteed and the fixtures tricky in terms of clean sheet potential. In terms of my transfer targets for game week 20, there's two key players I want in. Manchester United have got the form, albeit with some favourable fixtures in the last few weeks, but they have got a decent double game week 20. I don't think that Manchester City are going to be the overwhelming favourites for the derby, and the Crystal Palace game is a nice fixture as well. Marcus Rashford has to come in on current form. He's scored in all three games since the FPL restart. He's got an assist as well. It looks like he could potentially be on penalties. For me, it's pretty much a must have right now and an absolutely bargain price. Now, the Manchester United fullbacks are also attractive. Diogo Dallo is now back fit. We saw him boss the bonus points in the first part of the season. Luke Shaw has taken on that mantle in recent games. He's also got a goal. I think in terms of ownership, Luke Shaw is probably the safer bet right now. And he does carry more goal threat as well. In terms of my route to Rashford and Shaw then, it is a tricky one. I feel like Mo Salah is going to have to be the cash cow in midfield to get Rashford. Because I've got two free transfers, but I've only got 0.1 million in the bank. Now, in defence, I've got a choice. Do I sell Gabriel? Do I sell Walker? Do I sell Bueno to get Luke Shaw in? Bueno would be a good upgrade to Shaw because his place isn't really that confirmed in the Wolves squad at the moment, but my team value is lacking. So I feel like it's going to help me to have a fifth budget defender. I do feel like Kyle Walker will come good. And long term right now, I feel like I'd rather be tripled up on the Arsenal attack then have Gabrielle in my team. So I'm tempted to sell Gabrielle to get Shaw in, which would allow me to get Odegaard or Saka in my attack in future game weeks. I don't think it's a big deal to get them this week with the North London derby. Odegaard has really impressed me though since the restart. He's had nine shots on goal, which is really good, but obviously it's creativity that we really need to take a note of. He sits second for key passes with 11 and big chances created with four. He's got four double digit hauls in his last six games and sits joint top with Erling Haaland for the total number of double digit hauls this season. Obviously I'm not interested in Crystal Palace assets for the double but I am looking at Spurs as well. Now with two free transfers do I take a hit to get a third player in there? Now there's two routes to go here. I could sell Mitrovic in order to get in Harry Kane. I could also sell Almiron to get in Hung Min Son. You just don't, never know which Spurs are going to turn up right now but the fact that Harry Kane is just one goal away from Jimmy Greaves all-time Spurs record makes me feel like I really want to own him for the double game week. The problem is that he could do a Mitrovic, get booked in the first game and miss the second. He does have a fantastic scoring record in a North London derby as well. There'd be no greater stage to break that Jimmy Greaves record. Son is also back on the radar after his goal against Crystal Palace. The golden boot winner from last season is the top midfielder in terms of shots on target since the restart. And obviously he doesn't have that suspension danger either. I also like the look of Matt Doherty as well. He started all three games since the restart. He's had six shots on goal and he's also created four key passes. The other thing that I need to keep in the back of my mind is the potential for a double game week 21 to be announced. Now, this could be announced 
before the double game week 20 deadline so it's something to keep an eye on which is another reason to hold on to those transfers Chelsea v Liverpool is the favourite at the moment to slot into a double game week 21 there's also a chance that we see Arsenal play Everton Brighton to play Bournemouth or Crystal Palace but we may not get confirmation before the deadline to summarise then Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford are pretty certain to be coming into my side for double game week 20 using my two free transfers with Salah and one of my defenders making way. I'm still weighing up the minus four hit, but I do like the look of upgrading Mitrovic to Harry Kane. I want to hear your dilemmas as well. I do answer all the questions within 24 hours of a video going live, so drop them below and I'll be back with my team selection video on Thursday.